your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Tonight we're looking at another chance for at least a few rain or snow showers around, but the much better chance for that is actually going to return during the daytime tomorrow. As we are looking at another chilly night, a little bit of light wintry precipitation possible with more rain and snow tomorrow. That should wrap up tomorrow evening. And even by Friday, I think the majority of the area will be dry through the day on Friday and setting us up for a drier and eventually warmer weekend, especially towards Sunday and Monday. Temperatures will start to warm up uh, to more of a noticeable, milder type of a weather pattern. We're kind of stuck in this chilly air for a little while longer. A few flurries still across the far eastern side of the state and a little bit of drizzle here and there. Had some brief accumulation in the city of Manhattan, but around not too far away, there were reports of up to one to two inches of snow in parts of Riley County. You can still see slushy conditions in the parking lot and grass covering uh, with snow there, or snow covering the grass, I should say, in the uh, Mayetta area. Had snow for a while. There's still little patches of it here and there. You can see it on the ground every uh, so often in the Emporia area. And the snow's pretty much melted away in Topeka. Had anywhere from a half to some parts of town so areas picking up about an inch and a half. It was really kind of varied even across the city. Temperature right now 35 degrees. We did pick up 16 hundredths of an inch of melted down precipitation. Temperatures have been stuck in the 30s between 34 and 38 degrees today. It is still 37 at Manhattan as well as Junction City. 32 at Burlington, 34 for Hiawatha as well as in Holton. The wind chill running generally in the 20s, so there's a bit of a chill in the air across the region, and we will have those southerly winds around tonight. Now tomorrow the winds may shift a little bit, weakening southerly winds shift around to the west and even even northwest during the day tomorrow, and that could bring in a little bit of cooling late in the day as our next little wave of the system comes in. That may be just enough to produce another round of some snow for the area. Snow over Missouri and Iowa right now, rain farther to the south toward eastern Texas and Louisiana. But we are watching this little system up around Rapid City. It extends down into Nebraska. That'll be dropping southward. Could give us a few sprinkles and light rain showers tonight. And then tomorrow morning may start to mix with or even change over to some snow at times and periods of light snow possible through the day tomorrow. It's going to be another one of those days where we get some slushy accumulation on grassy surfaces here and there, but doesn't look to be a big snow. Once again, looking at kind of a rain snow mix and that pushes away to the east. Of course, I mentioned earlier there were some areas in the northwestern counties that picked up three, four, five inches of snow, but I don't think we see a repeat of that for most of us tomorrow. It should be just a light amount of dusting type of snow. Clouds to hang around though into Friday, finally clearing out Friday night and setting us up for a sunnier and eventually warmer weekend. Southwesterly winds, maybe a few sprinkles and flurries around tonight. And again, that chance around tomorrow as a high reaches 37. Westerly winds and eventually falling temperatures late in the day will allow for some of that accumulation uh, on grassy surfaces without light snow. But again, it's going to be very, very minor. Chance for that during the day, running at about 40 to 60 percent west to east, the highest chances over the eastern counties. And then 36 on Friday, we clear out, but still cool on Saturday at 41. Should warm up quite a bit more Sunday on into Monday, as high as top in the upper 40s and low 50s. And then a few scattered showers around on Tuesday, possibly Tuesday night into early Wednesday, as some cooler air settles back in with highs in the low to mid 40s.